Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, welcome. My name is Laifa and I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. Today's video isn't a beauty or lifestyle related video, but I felt like I needed to make this video. A couple of days ago, about five days ago, a story started going around on social media. It was an audio clip of a recorded conversation between a lecturer and a student in a Nigerian university. In the conversation, the lecturer was asking the student to have sex with him five different times for him to pass her, for him to give her an E. Not an A, not a B, not a C, an E. I'm not saying that if it was an A or a B, it would have been understandable or acceptable. I'm not I'm not saying that. I don't know whether it was leaked or the students put it out there. So but but the clip was everywhere. Like it was it was everywhere, it was trending everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. So I came across it on Instablog Niger. It's a it's an Instagram handle. I came across the story there and I just went into the comments and oh my God, like I literally wept when I saw the comments in that comment section. Like I feel like we are our own problem. For God's sakes, you hear a story about a lecturer that is trying to sexually assault a student is asking for sexual favors from a student and the first thing that your mind goes to is oh the student asks for it the student doesn't read her books the student probably said this thing the student probably dresses in a seductive manner like you you've left the point the point that someone who's supposed to be a qualified lecturer but it's supposed to be a positive influence on a student you left that point it really pissed me off to see the comments that way that people were making like 95 percent of the comment section was where people shaming the students where people making it trying to seem like it was her fault it's ethically and morally wrong for a lecturer to ask a student for sexual favors in return for marks even if she offers you are supposed to be in a position to say no you are supposed to say no for god's sakes God, this thing is giving me a headache already like I didn't want to make this video like it was painful in my heart like it really it was it really hurt me because I've been in this same position before and I really wanted to talk about it but I wasn't confident enough to talk about it and then I saw Dima's video and it just it just encouraged me to to also talk about it because i have a voice and i feel like i should use my voice to talk about this situation because everybody keeps keeping quiet about this situation and the more we keep quiet and the more we push it under the rug and the more we pretend like we don't know that these things are happening the more it continues to happen okay so now i've talked about the girl story that brings me to my own story i studied at the university of nigeria in google campus that's where i did my five years program in my third year, I started taking a, a, a course with this lecturer who's also a reverend. Like, I mean, the girl's story really struck a chord because it was like her story was very similar to mine. This same lecturer who made my life a living hell in the university for how many years? How many years made my life a living hell? He was also a reverend. I mean, you're supposed to be a man of God and here you are. <laughs> Anyways, so in my third year, I started taking this course with a lecturer who was notorious for asking for sexual favors from females. So I already told myself that coming into this class, I'm just going to hide myself. Like I don't even want him to even know that I'm in his class. But granted, my class was a very small class. So it would have been easy for, you, for him to know every single person. So how did this guy notice me? I think the first day we had a lecture with him, he asked a question and I was the only one who got the answer right. Not like I raised my hand to ask, answer the question. I wouldn't do that. Like I said, I was trying to hide myself. Like I didn't even sit in front. I didn't sit at the back. I just put myself in the middle where I felt like I wouldn't be noticed. He, may, he asked everybody the question like everybody needs to give an answer so i was the only one who got it right so that's how this guy noticed me so that's how he noticed me and from then on he likes to always ask me questions i i made sure i always came early i like i did everything i did i did everything right and his courses were not even difficult courses that you say oh i i couldn't i didn't do well that's why his courses were easy this lecturer forget the fact that he used to ask for sexual favors from from students 
he's a reverend he would force you to go to his church like you had to come and mark attendance that you came to his church if he was having thanksgiving you have to bring the whole class has to come together bring money and buy stuff and come and give to his church you are forcing i'm not saying you are you are telling your students oh i'm a reverend so, 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 so church you you push you come if you want to it's not a choice you are forcing them to come you're forcing them to bring gifts is it not supposed to be out of the goodness of your heart no it's not a choice you are made to he wants a flat he wants a he wants a tv screen he will tell us like this one was not even sugar coating he wasn't the kind of person that would sugarcoat things i want a tv screen if your class doesn't bring the tv screen you all are going to fail he's going to make you guys life a living hell imagine that i was from a poor background and i couldn't afford i couldn't afford to do all these things that he was he was requesting for because there was always a list if you didn't make payments there was a list so if you imagine that you did not have the money to to make the payments to contribute to do all these things that you always wanted the students to do i will fail because i'm not financially buoyant to meet the needs that you a lecturer I, is enforcing on me a student he was a sadist sadist whatever it's called like he made life a living hell for both male and both female he just made it unusually hard unnecessarily hard this lecturer made the learning environment very stressful for every student he he i feel like i feel like oh because he he has been given this position of power you see him try to be all powerful try to make us feel like oh i mean i'm a god like we need he needed for us to worship him to make him feel important he would fix class at all times i mean lectures are supposed to be from a certain time maybe like 8 a.m or 7 a.m to probably like 4 p.m i feel like no lecture should be outside of 4 p.m 5 p.m at the most but this lecturer would fix a class for 9 p.m in the night when we're supposed to be resting and reading and doing other things imagine that you had lectures from morning to 4 p.m and then you now still have to come out again by 9 p.m for a lecture or sometimes 6 30 a.m why why and it's not as if these times that he's fixing the lecture he's coming to teach us like the whole and he will spend like three four five hours it's not like he's coming to teach us what he's supposed to be teaching us he's just with us he's making comments about every single person in the class he and oh my god he could stay in a class now and talk about someone's ass someone's boobs how someone will feel good when you have sex with the person in class he's just with us and talking crap in a classroom that you're supposed to be enlightening and teaching students that's what the class is about and everybody's laughing and if you don't laugh ima like imagine me this is my face right now i can be all smiley but things like this really pisses me off and i do not know how to hide my emotion imagine me in a class that something like that is happening i can't smile why would i smile and laugh with you it's not funny i don't think it's funny so i don't know how to pretend he wants you to laugh and if you don't laugh he picks on you why 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 will you pick on me that i'm not laughing because oh, i find what you said very stupid why and oh god okay so i'm just trying to give you guys an idea of the kind of lecturer that this man was and he always liked for students to flock around him so i don't like to do that i can't i don't know how to lick anybody's ass so you don't find me doing that and because i don't do that he picks on me oh a bit more you haven't you 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 didn't come and see me you didn't this you didn't that why am i supposed to come and see you outside of the classroom i don't have any, any business with you outside of the classroom you did not come and see me you're playing with your destiny his destiny my destiny is not in his hands for god's sakes the only thing i owe him is to read submit my assignments write my exam i don't owe him anything but you see this man picking on me picking on me picking on me picking on me and making me picking me out of the, oh my god picking me out of how many people in my class and then you see him he will come to my hostel in the middle of the night and tell me to come downstairs to do what do i have any business with you i don't have any business with you and then when i make excuses he'll be like you're not a serious student you're not a serious student and then for example for example he's traveling maybe he's traveling to oka or abuja he will call me i need i need you to accompany me to keep me company this weekend for what for what and then when i make excuses he gets angry and then the next day in class you see him picking on me again 
that guy made my life a living hell a living hell and to make matters worse this particular man had a wife in the same department in the two of them used to lecture us i don't even know if that is supposed to be allowed but this lady now started picking on me too like i don't get it why, why was she now picking on me she was picking on me and, and I, I had heard of these stories before but i felt it was just gist it was just stories rumors going around but it wasn't actually true but to see it actually happen to me it was quite surprising to, because people always used to say that the lady used to pick on people that she knew her husband was attracted to or could be attracted to so are you picking on me because your husband is making advances towards me what is your business with me your problem should be with your husband not with me am i the one that is asking for him to make these advances towards me no she said make picking on me too making life a living hell for me you see her picking up on me picking on me telling me to leave those men telling in class so in a classroom for god's sakes you are telling me leave those men which men are you talking about which men <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> god which men is she talking about she was just she was just picking up picking on me telling me how i'm not going to have a bright future i'm not going to this i'm not going to that my future is not in your hands my future is not in your hands just imagine me sandra i'm being picked on by a, a husband i'm being picked on by a wife how do you want my how do you want the learning experience to be for me i i couldn't wait to be done with school i couldn't wait to get out of there i remember in my fifth year I, this was an ongoing thing it was an ongoing thing imagine in my fifth year i was fed up with the whole thing like i couldn't wait to be done with school i didn't even used to wear makeup at all anymore like i totally dropped makeup i didn't even used to dress up i didn't used to do any of that to be that oh okay maybe it's the cost of the makeup maybe it's because of the outfit i'm wearing and in my department you had to dress corporate like you had to wear button-up shirts nothing was outside you had to wear skirt that got to a point and trousers that got to a point so it's not a matter so don't i don't want anybody in my comment section to come for me and tell me how it's because i was wearing certain outfits so i was attracting him i don't want to hear that i really hate when i hear that thing you shouldn't be giving you shouldn't be judging a female and making it seem like she's the reason why certain things happen to her that is a very wrong notion imagine if this were your daughter Imagine if this were your sister. It could be anyone. It could happen to anyone. You don't come and judge and say they asked for it. They didn't ask for it. Imagine me. I was able to refuse this man for years. Imagine someone who is weaker. And maybe, for example, I'm from a poor background. I don't have. I don't want to have an extra year because I know that my parents might not be able to afford an extra year. And then I, I, I've been refusing this man and he, he's still making life a living hell and failing me. And I decide to give in. Imagine someone that, that can't speak out. What happens to them? Who is, who is there to defend them? He kept on making my life a living hell. And then he gave me an extra year. He failed me in one course in my final year. He failed me in one course in my final year. And the easiest of all courses. Imagine someone asking me about the theoretical aspect of makeup. You don't even need to read like from practice from experience you know these things so just imagine that's kind of course that this guy filled me in the easiest of all courses made me have an extra year because i refused to sleep with him because i refused to sleep with this man he gave me an extra year for one course i had to come back to school for one course because i refused to sleep with a man who is supposed to be a reverend who is supposed to be a qualified lecturer that should be should like he should have his moral ethics but no no and the annoying thing is that people in my department the staff academic and non-academic they knew all these things they knew and everybody when everybody was turning a blind eye like you can't even speak up you are damned if you speak up you are damned if you don't like you're just helpless and there's no one to help you and imagine that in my final year they now made him head of departments like they, they gave him even more power and even more leverage to to treat females any even as i go an extra year even in that extra year he was still trying to get me to sleep with him telling me that he would give me another extra year again if i don't sleep with him and i'm not saying this thing didn't happen to only me it happened to a lot of girls in my class a lot of people and some slept with him 
I'm not saying that what they did is right, but I can understand where it came from because this guy was not taking no for an answer. It, it wasn't a, a case of I tried and she not agree and I left her. He failed me. And this lecturer is still in that university. He's still there connect, committing the same menace that he's been doing all these years and no one has been stopping him. He's still there. So, okay, in the case of this girl that our story went viral, he's been, he's, he, according to research that I made, people say he's been known for doing things like that. And he was actually caught three years ago for this same offense. And he's still there three years later today. So what, what happened when he was reported then? They didn't do anything about it. He's still there and still doing the same thing that he was caught for then. Now in this case that now in this case that the girl had evidence and everything, what have they done about it? I've been following up the story to see what was done about it. Nothing. Nothing. And before you know, this story will be will be yesterday's news and nothing was done about it. And things like this will keep happening. Imagine that it's your daughter. Imagine that it's your child. Tomorrow, you'll be a parent tomorrow. Imagine that your daughter is, is in that kind of situation. Like, I feel like we need to come together and provide a solution to, on how to stop things like this instead of always throwing the blame on the, on the female involved. It's always about what the female has done. Forget what the female did or didn't do and focus on the points. Sexual harassment is highly wrong. These lecturers should stop being predators and making young students, young females, their, 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 their prey for God's sakes. Things like this lead to depression. Guys, depression is real. I have been in a state of depression. So I know what I'm telling you. It is, it is, a, it is not a good place to be in. Imagine if I wasn't strong enough and I decided to commit suicide. Just, just imagine something like that happening. Things like this can happen from these kinds of situations. So we really shouldn't be taking it lightly. I feel like this sexual harassment of students for sexual favors from, from lecturers should be made a criminal offense. I read online and it was said that they've actually tried to pass the bill to make it a criminal offense in 2016. In 2016, the Senate moved a five year jail term for lecturers sexually exploiting students but lecturers kicked against it describing it as a violation of their rights <laughs> hey god i don't understand it's a violation of your rights to ask for sexual favors from students i feel like this bill should be passed it really should be because it will keep happening it will keep happening if we're all just turning a blind eye to it. In my case, I finally talked to my best friend's mom, who is also a lecturer, who was also, who was also a lecturer in that same faculty. And she had never heard about it before. She didn't know about it. And she brought it up in their faculty meeting and made it known that if, she, if the person doesn't stop doing what the person is doing, she was going to take the matter up and make it a serious case. So I don't know if that's the reason why he passed me, I graduated. Maybe he, he knew because I was like her daughter. So maybe he knew that, oh, he's, she, she's referring to me and him and he let me go. Imagine if he didn't let me go. He let me go, but there were some people in my class that he still kept them for the same reason. This is really, really, really a serious issue that I feel like we need to take seriously and we need to come together and try to find a way to make it end. I don't want this to be yesterday's news. The fact that this, this story came up, it, it just really struck a chord with me and I felt like I, need, I needed to speak about it. It's really sad that this is an issue that is very dominant in a lot of Nigerian universities, especially the federal and the state universities. Like it's really a common thing. It has, it happens happened to our mothers it happened to us do you want it to happen to your own children I need you to ask yourself this question it could be anyone and don't make it about the fact that oh the, the girl is dull she didn't read she didn't she didn't that lecturers will deliberately fail you even though you, you ought to have passed I ought to have passed he deliberately failed me and he told me to my face that that was the reason why he failed me he was very bold he was very bold about it. I mean, this is someone that he's saying raw, vulgar things in a classroom. He's not even hiding it. He's not ashamed about it. He's not ashamed of it. I need them to make an example with one person. And I feel like the rest of them will fall in line. 
that would be a step in the right direction we should be the change that we want to see in the world we should be we should be better for our children's children i'm going to end this video by saying that young girls out there who are in universities that are going through the same thing that i went through and i kept quiet about it the right thing to do is to speak up the right thing to do is speak up i wasn't brave then but i hope that you listening to me talk about it now even though it's past will give you the courage to do so you speaking out you are you are trying to break this cycle so please let's all try try to put our hands together i don't know how i, I really oh god i really don't know how but i feel like us talking about it is a step towards the right direction so I want you guys to talk to me in the comment section down, about, down below and let's all talk let's all recommend a way to end this thing so that this, this lecturers can stop getting away with it i hope you guys got a thing or two from this story from this video that i just made and i hope and i pray that this thing this cycle will be broken in jesus name amen anyways thank you guys for listening i i know it was a bit much and a bit i know it was a bit intense i just i just had to speak about it because hearing this girl's story just really reminded me of how i felt when the same thing happened to me so please guys let's speak up stay blessed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys